gonna sing. You are the reason. 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 Say you are the reason. You are for the air I breathe. You are the reason. You are the reason for the life I live. You are the reason. For your mercies are new every morning. There is no shadow of turning in you. You are the reason. Yes. Neho toko tu ni mene. Si ana neos. There is a presence in this place always. Engage, 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 engage. Holy, holy, I hear you, Lord God Almighty. What is the land? Yes, what is the land? You are holy. What is the land? I don't know, but when I, when I minister, I'm very unconventional. I just have a pressing in my spirit that God wants to hear somebody. When I minister, I don't minister because I sing or I teach or I preach. I minister from body. There is somebody God wants to hear you release what's in you. It might be pain. Just please, wherever you are, raise your hands. Just worship. Talk to God. Everybody, please. Holy. Talk to God. Holy. Holy. Netolos. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. Thanks. Put your hands together for the man of God. Or put your hands together for him. We have so many ministers in here. If something happened to me and I fall down right now, they'll pick the mic up. Amen. Oh, put your hands together for him. Are we in church? Amen. May we please stand up on our feet for the scripture reading, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. If you know your Bible very well, you will know where this particular text is going. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. I'll be reading from verse 8 to verse 10. By faith, Abraham was called to a place he will later receive his inheritance. Obey and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Verse 9. Eight, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents with he lived in tents, did Isaac and Jacob, who were his heirs, with him in the same promise. Verse 10. I like this part. For he was looking forward to the city whose foundation and whose architect is built by God. May God bless his word in Jesus' name. Um, the man of God that is about to bring the word to us today is a unique man. If you go in the dictionary and you look for the word committed, you will find his face right next to the word committed. He was with us from the beginning when we opened this church. When he started preaching the word of God, my brothers and sisters, I was not even born. This man, God has used him greatly. He has been a pillar of the people of faith ministry. Am I in church? Amen. 
I thought I was committed till I met this man. If church start at 7, this man will be here 5 a.m. praying and preaching. He does not care if members show up or not, he will preach to the church. This man is a committed man. And Abraham slept with the maid, Hagar, and he conceived or died. Jews, a Monica, 
dressed in as clothes and went to the gate and went to the palace because you dare not to go in front of the palace. If to see you, they will eliminate you. But him is, uh, Monica said, if I die, I will die. But I will go. But Esther, I got a message. I got a word for you. Don't mind. Because we are Jews and you are in the game palace. If they kill us, they will kill you too. That's the word I got to tell you. What do we die? You will die. You can be the king wife. But bear in mind that you are Jews. He gave them power. Don't be gone. The son of God. To them not worship him. He gave them power. Don't be gone. The sons of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 We serve a God who never fail. We serve a God who never fail. Who never fail forevermore. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord of mighty. Hallelujah. 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 The three Hebrew boys, Shakrai, Misha, and Abednego, the king Nebuchadnezzar passed in other lands, passed a degree by the prophet of Babylon. He made a golden image and he said, when you are in Babylon, everyone must bow down or a year to the image. And we had the three gentlemen from Babylon. They were in the city and they saw them and they said, no, we are not going. We shall not and will not bow down. I'm not wasting down, calling upon the Lord. I'm not wasting down, calling upon the Lord. Oh, you're not wasting down, calling upon the Lord. Oh, we're not wasting down. Calling upon the Lord. And the Bible said they took the three Hebrew boys and put them in the fire of families. And the Bible says they raised the heat and they were terrifying. Even though they were dead, they burned. And they threw them in the fire of families. The Bible said when they look, instead of them seeing three, they saw four, and the four was the son of man. Testing time. Were you gain? Were you gain? Paul and Sada, they went to Rome. They started to preach the gospel, and they were arrested, and they were beaten, and were put into prison. And my Bible says that they didn't give up. They started to praise and worship. And the Bible said there was an earthquake. And the earthquake came and some wild opened the door. And the Bible said the chain are on their feet and on the head were loose. That's the time. Will you give up? Yo, where you stand from? When they shut your door, when your rent has not been paid, and the lawyer law come and bring the police to come and evict you, what will you do? When you say, God, I am committed to you, and today I see the people evicting me, I will never serve you. But it was not the case of Abraham. 
But Abraham heard to the voice of God and you obey. Obedience is rather than sacrifice. Shout out that shit. Joe was devastated, but he said, though he slay me, I would have trust him. He said, my redeemer live it. I don't care how the circumstances may be. I don't care how the boat may be rocking. I don't care how the storm will come. Yeah. But God said, be still and know that I am God. The Egyptian you see today, you yeah. shall see yeah. them no more. Dazzling will fall at your left hand and dazzling at your right hand. But it will not do you no know, harm. Not everyone that laughs at you loves you. Uh -huh. Say it again, bro. Thank you. Not everyone that smiles with you like you. Not everyone that eat with you have the heart of God for you. But the Bible says, man, look at the outside appearance. But God, look at the heart. Testing time. You may give me five dollars. But deep down in your heart, you don't love me. Yeah. You done. You gave me a fake smile. Yeah. But when the going get tough, and the tough get going, will you be there for me? Yeah. Abraham did not give up. Abraham did not waver. Because the Bible says that Abraham, God said he was going to make you a father of many nations. He said, I will bless thee that blesses thee. I will curse thee that curses you. So God was with Abraham. If God was with Abraham, then God will be with you. If they can hit you into the job or on the job, don't give you. Lift your head or high. He said, if God is for me, who can be against me? He said, I'm more than conqueror. Conqueror through him that loves me. Don't lean unto your own understanding, but in all your way, and not as him, and he will direct your path. He says, Fear not, I am with thee. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. He said, The plan I have for you is not a plan of evil, but to give you an expected end. Just in time. I remember I'm good. Take time, my people. God them all the time. never brought us here for a mistake. He brought us here for a reason. And the reason is such of this. Do you know that when you're coming to encounter COVID? Nope. You didn't know. forget back in every day and the Bible says at three Peter and John always went to go pray and this man saw Peter and John he started rejoicing his body he started glorifying God oh I'm coming to get million I'm coming to get thousand I'm coming to get traitor but Peter and John say, look straight at all, silver and gold, we have none. But what we have in the name of Jesus, rats. They were of the issue of blood. For 12 consecutive years, the Bible says you saw all of her possession. She went to the doctor. And could not get you. She saw her house. She saw her car. And she went from physician to physician. But there was no cure. One day she heard that Jesus was passing by. And she said, if I could only touch the hem of his garment, I would be made holy again. That's it time. And the Bible says that there were like 5,000 people crying 
around Jesus. And the Bible said that this lady took a bag, took everything that she had. And she moved in the crowd. And she said, if I could want to test the hem, only the hem. Now she had purpose in her mind that she was determined that she was going to encounter Jesus. And through her encounter, she was going to be transformed. And she went, I don't need to touch him. But only if I could only get the chance to touch the hem of his garment because the power lies in his garment and I will automatically be healed. And definitely, this woman encountered Jesus and her life was made different. Yeah. Testing time. If you are testing, what would you do? Would you give her in life? Or would you remain firm? Will you remain committed? I won't go to that church again. They have failed me. They have turned their back on me. When I needed them, they were not there for me. So why must I go and wash it with them? You're making a big mistake. The Bible says, work on your soul, salvation with fear and trembling. Paul said, I can do all things to Christ the strength of me. It's not my might. It's not my power. But by the Holy Spirit. When just in time shall come, what will you do? So, Father, I'll thank you for your people. Lord, I'll be the hero. But Lord, I'll be the doer. Whether a party or not party, if you are committed to God's work, you are committed. God testing us. And he wanted to know whether we are faithful. But we are not faithful. We are him when we are in the flesh. And we don't want to serve God. Father, let your will be done. Though you be all the glory. Though you be all the honor. Bless your people this week. As they go to their favorite jobs, that favor will be the portion. If the supervisor won't like them, let it continue to love him. Thank you for your word. As we are living from your Lord, we are not living in pieces. We live in peace. When testing time shall come. Shall we, or shall we, be committed and hear the still voice and do what we're supposed to do? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Thank you Holy Ghost. Open our eyes to see you sit on the throne. Let your work be done in Jesus' name. Thank you for such a powerful word, encouraging word. We give God the glory for such a powerful message in Jesus' name. And we pray that God Almighty continue to stand by you and strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to take this opportunity to welcome all our first time visitors. And we want to say you are not here by mistake. You are here by God's appointed time. We pay a special visit to your home at your job, at a time of need in Jesus' name. And because you are here today, all your life will not be the same in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, Sister Annie, welcome back. You know, come and close the service with a powerful prayer. 
Come on, continue to sing and sing, sing as the man of God. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life, and I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Let's worship God with that song right now. And you're too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, you've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail. Forever and ever. 